Hello and welcome back to another Galaxy of Heroes video. In this one I wanted to take a look at how I approach Conquest as a free to play player. Because as you know, you just can't do everything. Especially early on when you don't have enough teams to like tackle all the feats. And like you might have like one character that's able to tackle a feat in a certain sector or something. So I just wanted to go over how I um how I kind of approach it, what I do, how I look at the the different like uh, um sector feats, event feats. And just like how how I tackle each one of them. So first, we'll start off with the event feats. And for this one, I think it was the same as last time, and it'll be the same as the next conquest. So the I'm playing normal, so the challenges aren't fully like how they are in hard conquest. Like where it says defeat four hundred enemies, it's five hundred. But I'll put up on the screen like the list of the um all the feats in hard conquest now so you can see which ones are, are um which ones like are the full versions of them because in, as well as the sectors they'll only be free for normal where there's four for um hard conquest but i'll still i'll still go over all four of them just because even early game you can still like scrape four million gtp and you still may not be able to tackle them all so defeat 400 enemies is Easy, you'll get that done. No worries at all. Win with triple zero and BT one in your squad. That's fine. A lot of people have them from the marquee event. They don't. I don't think they have to survive. So you could do this. And the real reason you're doing this is for the massively overpowered data disc. So you can do the unlimited power one to get the nine, which isn't um, it isn't too bad. It's doable. I'm not going to focus on it, especially not early on. I'm going to make sure I get through all these sectors and try and three-star all the nodes if I can. Before I even attempt any of these. Booming voice. Where do you even get that one? This one. Calcestis or Serajunda. Again, really hard to do early on. Like, if you're an early game player, you know, even if you play during the Mackie event, you're only going to have them like three stars. And you could level them up, you know, get them to level 85. Get them to like gear, what, 11. But oh, again, I'm not doing it because it's just not, not worth the time for me and the effort because I'm just not following the farming plan. So you don't have to worry about them. Obviously, you're not going to get the red crate, but it is what it is. So that's the booming voice one. Uh, unaligned force users isn't bad. Just, again, early on, there's not a lot of unaligned force users. Like, if we go and take a look at what I've got. Like, I've got 2.5 million GP now after playing for just over a year. But if we pray, if we find unaligned force users down at you, oh, like right at the bottom, like I've got, like you can't put a team together with these of what I've got. I could, I could probably do it against. Could I do it against like a Phoenix team or something? Like if you've got the Inquisitors, that's great. Like if you went for Inquisitors as your first team, then you just easy can do it. It's no bother at all. But not a lot of people have done that. Realistically, you should probably farm if you're inquisitors. They are like quite needed quite a bit, and like because of the, like the, when they were on the like the bonus drops, and when they were in the pack on the, uh, web store. Like I've already got a, like halfway on a few of them, which is nice. So I do need to like farm those up eventually, but they're not in my like near future, sadly. And then going back over to conquest, and there's like two weeks left, so there's plenty of time once this video comes out to tackle it. So your best bet with that is Inquisitors if you've got them, otherwise you're, you're going to struggle. Full team of Tuscans, again, very difficult. Early on, Tuscans aren't a go-to team early on, so again, it'll be very hard. Like, I got my Tuscan Chieftain up to 7 stars because I got him in the, the 330 shards pack. So m the only Tuscan I would need to farm up is what the Warrior, and then I could do, do this... But again, there's there's no point doing that. There's not enough time. Daughters of Daphomir with Mary Mother Tales and an old Daka. You could do that because again, they don't have to. Oh, they do have to survive. Yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> Who farms Night Sisters early on? So it'll be very tough to do that one. Okay, now going into the different sectors. I think you can only view the oh, sector you're in, which is a shame. But we'll just, of course, start off with sector one. The the three feats in normal are for me 
evasion down, defeat enemies with Jedi units and gain secret intel. But the other one is also inflict blind if you're in hard conquest. But the sector one feats are very, very easy. For the evasion down, you can use characters like Spy, or Ben, 3PO, Zam Wessel are the like four very I have a look where were four great early game characters that you can do it with, which is kind of the route I'm going to take talking about these, because obviously you'll, you'll have end game players that can do it, and end game characters. But early going for Evasion Down, Spy or Ben, 3PO and Zam are your best bets. For Jedi Unit, it's, it doesn't really matter. Bastila Shan is probably a great lead for it, and is the one I'm using now with a team like with Jedi Knight, Anakin, GK, Yoda, and Ahsoka with Bastila's lead, which is great because you get all that extra max protection. Made it very, very easy because they were very, very more, very, very more tanky. Yeah, let's go with it. Very, very more tanky. And then Clever Little Joy, gain secret intel 40 times, is uh, BB-8. So if you've got him, you can do it. I've got him, but he is only level one, so I probably won't do this one. Which you know, it's a um, it's a shame because you're missing out on these five things, key cards. And then for hard conquest, the blind feet. If you're early on, your best bets are Sunfac because most people have a Geo's team just for dark side Geo TB, and three PO and Chewy with their um. That like mass blind is the easiest way to do it. Moving on to sector two, the four feats for this in hard conquest are win battles with no attackers, evade a hundred attacks, inflict plague, and gain health steal up. Fourteen attackers is very very easy. You're just gonna want to use supporters. You just want to use tanks. You know, you'll have no problem doing that one whatsoever. You know, it's a shame there's no zealous ambition to make your supporters stronger, but you know it is what it is. We've got different data discs now. Uh, evade 100 attacks again quite easy you could do some of them naturally you're going to want to use people with like foresight or stealth just to increase the evasion chance or even characters with evasion up but i can't think of any of them off the top of my head inflict plague is night sisters so if you've got a night sisters team very good you'll be able to do that one if not then tough luck and health steal up again a very very easy one a lot of early game characters you can do this way if you're talking emperor palpatine Grievous, Grief, IG-11 and Sunfac are the main ones that I picked out early on to get you through Sector 2. So yeah, Sector 2, easy enough feats apart from Plague. Plague's a bit of a pain if you don't have Night Sisters because you just can't do it and you miss out on the five key cards. But it is what it is. Sector 3 now, again, four feats again. Defeat units with droids, gain momentum, inflict purge and gain foresight. Droids is is very good early on if you have Grievous, just because he makes a very solid droid team. But if you don't, then you're going to want to find an easy team to beat. Like, I mean, I usually aim to find Phoenix. Because if we go down to droid, there, there aren't any... Like, I've not got great droids, but I could probably beat a team with that. I probably won't go for the droid... Uh, defeat enemies with droid units just because it won't be worth it just because I'll be a little bit like one star battles and stuff if I need like five key cards towards the end to get the next like box or the next reward then I'll probably do it but early on I'm not going to focus on it game momentum is Tuscans because they're the, they're the only team that can use Tuscans uh, that can gain momentum is Tuscans like the my chieftains seven star Aurora is seven star and then these are what raider and shaman are like what maybe like five stars each pretty sure warrior three star i'm not going for that not worth the time i would have to level everyone up don't have the credits don't have the gear to give to them not doing that inflict purge is inquisitors there they are so if you've got your Inquisitor, it's very nice, you'll be able to do that one. Again, it's the same as Plague. If you don't have them, then you've not got much of a chance. And Game Foresight is the final one in Sector 3, which again, quite easy. Lots of characters. You've got Ahsoka, uh, Bastila Sham Fallen, BB-8, 
Darth Revan, Jedi Knight Revan, which are, again are two characters you can go for early on. You'll have within a year. Very nice. GK, easy character to get from raids. Grandmaster Yoda, very easy from Journey Guide. Hermit Yoda, you'll get him eventually from just doing the Territory Wars and saving up the currency. Mace, Kanan, IG-11, R2, Jedi Training Ray. So if you're going for Galactic Regions Ray, you'll be able to do it with her. Not a very easy feat, especially if you've got like um, Grandmaster Yoda and GK. You can just throw together like a Padme team or a Republic team. Easy enough to do. All right, Sector Four now. The four feats are defeat 50 enemies with Imperial Troopers, win 14 battles with Rebel units or with a full squad of Rebel units, gain stealth 40 times, and attempt to inflict ability lock. Sector Four is probably the easiest sector feats. Sector 1 is quite easy as well, but 4 four is very, very good. Imperial Trooper units, you're going to be want to use in Veer's lead. Where are they? Probably is the best bet with Piet and the Emptress Trap. You could use Iden with the, the non-leadership uh, Imperial Troopers. You could probably do that with them. But I'm going to stick with my Veer's Piet. Like, probably start Gideon and Dark Trooper lineup. Might swap Stark out for Range Trooper. Don't know. Very, very easy feat. Get your five data discs. Data, nope, not data discs. Get your five key cards. Very, very easily with that one. Full squad of rebel, rebel units. Again, very, very easy. Especially if you went for CLS early on, which is highly recommended. Because he's amazing in Conquest anyway, just especially with this lineup. Even without um, C3PO, this lineup's insane. I've been throwing Kara on it at the end just because she can like mass stun Empire units. Which ends up being very, very useful. But even these four could just probably do it on their own, especially with hard shoot first. Everybody uh, assisting each other. Very, very easy. Gain stealth 40 times. Lots of characters that can do that. Piet on his leadership. C3PO if you've got him. Kara when she does something. I can't remember which one it is. Is it a unique? No. Is it this unique? Yes. No. Ah, uh, yes, it is. When she gains, when she loses taunt, she gains self. So she, you can do it with her. Count Dooku when you do his his thing. <laughs> Master of Makashi, I think it's called. He gains stealth off of that. Quite easy to do it with him. You don't even need the Omega on it. I'm pretty sure it's this. Is it this? Uh, is it not this? Which one is it? Or is it unique? I don't know. One of them gains stealth. I really can't remember. On non tag separate allies stealth for two turns as well. That might be what I'm thinking. So if you've got a separate steam, that's great. Dengar, when he's hit, GK. R2 does with his like smoke ability, can't remember its name. Spy stealths, Grandmaster Yoda smelfs, stealths, Grief stealths, Hermit Yoda, Mara, new loads of characters. You can look it up on swago.gg as well if you would like to get like the full list. Very, very easy to get the stealth feats done. And ability block again, very easy. You got like Bastila, Boba. Chewie, Darth Revan, Darth Traya, Vader, Grand Admiral Thrawn does as well, Mace or Ben, Poggle, Bam, Dooku as well I'm pretty sure does. So again, very easy. Once you get to Sector 4 you're going to have no issue whatsoever doing the Sector feats if you've been playing for a while and have got you know a couple million GP, you should be fine. And then finally, Sector 5, defeat 50 units with Inquisitorious units. Win 14 battles with no tanks, inflict armor shred, and gain defense up. Defeat units with Inquisitors. Again, just like the Purge feat, you can only do it if you've got Inquisitors. There's no ways around that. 14 battles with no tanks, it's the same as no attackers. Just use the other ones, use supporters, use attackers for this no tanks one. Inflict armor shred. The best bet for this is probably like Gideon or Sabine. A lot of people have a will have a phoenix team it just might be difficult to do it in normal conquest especially in sector 5 when you're against the higher 
uh, like leveled and relic teams. But if you're in easy, you probably should be able to do it with your Phoenix team. And who Moff Gideon as well has an armor shred on the Darksaber Lunge. So you can do it with him with your Imperial Troopers again. Same as in Sector 4. And gain defense up is easy. You got people like Piet, Clone Wars Chewie, Kanan, First Order Stormtrooper, Old Ben, Royal Guard. Very easy. Depending on what you've farmed, uh, Piet, you'll probably have him if you're going for Executive Sif Eternal or just for an Imperial Troopers team early on. You'll have him. First Order Stormtrooper if you're going for SLKR. Very useful. Royal Guard, if you're going for Civ Eternal, that's probably how I'll do it. On his... That one. <laughs> Gain defense up on his special ability. Easy. Clone Wars Chewie is like the way to... Is the way to um, like cheese it, I'm pretty sure. If I just type in Clone Wars, he should pop up. Yeah. On his leadership... Where is it? Wookiee Resolve. Allies have plus 50%, de plus 50 defense and a 50% chance to gain defense up for 3 turns whenever they are damaged. So whenever they hit, a very easy way to do it if you've got Clone Wars Chewy. You don't even need him like high level off stars, just have him in that leader slot. Slap some tanks around him and you'll be able to do it. But yeah, overall, some very decent sector feats. So if you do want the, um, the list of them, just go back to earlier in the video where I put it up and just screenshot them and you'll have the full list but that's how i would approach it you know some of the feats very easy some just impossible don't worry about them make sure you're focusing on getting each node three starred first and you'll be able to come out with a decent reward i'm probably going to be aiming for like let's go up a bit i think this this one the 300 one maybe 390 probably not though like usually i think i usually in like somewhere around this 336 mark so yeah good luck everyone in conquest over the next couple of weeks i hope you get the rewards you want if you've watched this point please consider subscribing it really helps the channel grow and yeah i'll see you guys next time